Okay, third example, boron trifluoride. Valence electrons, boron has three, and there are three fluorines, which are in group seven. So they each have seven. When I total that up, I have 24 electrons to play with. For bonds, boron is in group three. It likes to form three bonds. Fluorine is in group seven. It likes to form one bond. So I have three fluorines and one boron. I'm gonna put the boron in the middle and use one bond each to join up the fluorines. Now I'm gonna check for full outer shells. Boron has access to six electrons. Now remember, boron is one of the electron deficient exceptions. So it's happy with six. We don't need to give it any more. The fluorine, however, it's one of the ones that really needs a full outer shell. And at the moment, each fluorine only has access to two bonding electrons. So I'm gonna need to give each fluorine three lone pairs so that it now has six non-bonding electrons and two bonding electrons, giving it a full outer shell of eight. And then we check our totals. So in my structure here, I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 non-bonding electrons, and then six bonding electrons, and 18 plus six is 24. So I have the right number of electrons, so I'm all good.